Oval chain rings. What the heck are they? Are they worth the upgrade? Why did one of your buddies tell you that they're really good and another buddy tell you that they suck? Well, we talk about this a lot. We get this question all the time. We wrote an article on it a long time ago. And today in this video, we're gonna dive into everything about oval chain rings on mountain bikes, especially with a focus on how they actually work for the average mountain biker. Well, when we decided to make this video, we got in touch with who we feel is the absolute leader in the oval chain ring world, and that is Absolute Black, a German company that manufactures beautiful aluminum CNC chain rings right in Europe. And these guys have done extensive testing on oval chain rings, like ridiculous testing. Go to their website, watch their videos, read their whole thing on why oval. It's all really interesting stuff. Um, to me, when I digest all of that, I feel like it's very focused on effectiveness on the road in particular, and I don't care too much about that as a mountain biker. Ain't nobody got time for that. Um, when oval chain rings were introduced, in, in my experience, I looked at them, I saw them, I heard about them, and I thought it was kind of more of like a cross-country rider, roadie thing, and wasn't really all that interested. Then I happened to read um, some quotes in an article from Cedric Gracia years ago on oval chain rings, and when I saw that, I was like, oh, I should actually give these things a try. No shit, Sherlock. Um, and it's a pretty cheap upgrade. You know, oval chain rings can be had for around 70 bucks or so, and it's an easy thing to test and then swap on and off your bike if you don't end up liking the thing. Um, once I tried them, I pretty much never went back. I really enjoyed them as a mountain biker because I like technical climbing, rocky, rooty stuff. I like to just try and motor my bike up that. I think it's entertaining to do and fun to do, and it's a challenge. Motorboat, you play the motorboat? Um, oval chain ring for me on a full suspension mountain bike felt like I had more traction, better power delivery to the rear wheel, and just could climb stuff better. And it felt like an advantage in technical climbing, which I really enjoyed. So that was my experience with them. Um, everyone's got a little bit different take on it. The super nerdy efficiency, effectiveness, roadie gains on the whole thing. Nerds. We're not really gonna get into because this is a mountain bike channel. So we're gonna talk about how mountain bikers feel about these things. Um, so two people's opinion that I really respect. Liam Woods, our head mechanic here, former roadie and a mountain biker, and Jonathan Lee, who's a nationally ranked road cyclist and mountain biker, um, who works at Trainer Road. That guy's brilliant. So I'm going to get both of their opinions on this thing. Then we're going to go out onto the trail and get some average mountain bikers' opinions on these things and have them ride a regular chain ring and an oval chain ring back to back on the same bike in the same portion of the trail. So let me go get Liam. Liam! Liam! Willie, yeah. tell my mountain bike friends your experience with oval chain rings in less than a minute. Go ahead. All right, so I have them on both the cross country bike and my gravel bike. First on the cross country bike, um, I really noticed it on technical climbing. Techno technical climbing was uh, pretty immediate with the pedal stroke and the way the oval chain ring kind of reacts. Um, other than that, you know, it's, I don't think it's all that noticeable, but definitely on the climbs. Uh, gravel bike, I think it's awesome. It's not gravel channel, but it really, on the rigid, it could react to the same on a hardtail too. It, it really reacts well. You can get on that efficiency or effectiveness. You can stay on top of your cadence better. Um, and that's really what I felt. I felt like I could stay on top of my cadence better and I could get a more smooth pedal stroke on both bikes, so. Yeah, so fun experience. Yeah. I definitely want to try one on my gravel bike, which I've been riding a bit lately, and I pretty much just ride it on mountain bike trails, and it really has no traction compared to my mountain bike climbing. Um, so any traction gains I could get there, I'm excited to test that out at some point. All right, cool. Well, now let's hear Jonathan's opinion. Yeah, I think people should try it. They're awesome uh, for the right bike and the right rider. For my Yeti ASR that I had, it had a tendency to bob and it relied a lot on chain tension to be able to stay in the right spot in that pedal stroke to kind of give you that anti-squat and that nice solid pedaling platform. And with oval chain rings, it improved dramatically, right? Uh, with my new bike, the SV100, it doesn't have as much of that effect because it doesn't seem as reliant upon chain tension, perhaps. I'm not sure. I've used them on the road. I've used them on mountain. And what I find is that usually I have this initial kind of like adjustment curve where I'm like, whoa, it feels different. For me personally, I've never been able to measure any difference in heart rate or anything else like that. But I have certainly noticed that there are some benefits. Like if you can stay on top of the gear and kind of spin a quick cadence, it really works. Like I feel like it's easier to stay up there. 
the wall on the downside of that if you really get drugged down and it's really steep i find that it's pretty tough to kind of get back on top of your cadence if you get drugged down but depending on the bike depending on the rider and the terrain it could be something that would really improve the ride for a lot of people and i think they should try it well there you have a few opinions That's my opinion! now let's go out on the trail and see some more I would call them average novice mountain biker opinion. So a few of our staff, a couple of these guys, have been riding these oval chain rings for a couple weeks. So Absolute Black recommends you go through sort of a, I don't know, a getting used to it period where you kind of learn and understand how the sort of thing feels. And we're gonna put them on the same section of trail, same bike, swap them back to back with a round ring and an oval ring. You can hear their thoughts. You're also gonna see Michael. Michael's been riding mountain bikes a super long time and he has never ridden an oval ring. So it'll be interesting to see his thoughts immediately on the same section of trail, his bike that he's used to with his round ring and then hit an oval ring. So let's go see what those guys think, how these things actually feel out on the trail and see if they seem like they're a worthy upgrade. What's up guys, today we're out here on the trail and we're testing absolute black oval chain rings against a standard round chain ring. We have three riders, Adam and Chance, who have been on the chain rings for about two to three weeks, getting used to how the oval chain ring rides and kind of getting that adaptive period. And then we have Michael, who's never been on an oval ring before. He's gonna get out here for the first time today, give it a shot and see if he can notice the difference on his first ride compared to the round chain ring. What's up guys, I'm Adam. Uh, I've been riding the oval chain ring, absolute black oval chain ring for a couple weeks now. I'm riding it on my SB150, I ride flat. Um, and I've definitely noticed a big difference between the round and the oval. Um, I noticed right away that it felt a little more efficient. I was able to kind of put the power down. I felt like I was translating more of my pedal stroke to the trail, whereas on the round, I kind of would get hung up in certain sections, especially with the technical climb we just did. As soon as I switched back to the round, I kind of felt myself getting hung up and, and almost having my feet fly off the pedals. Um, and with the, with the oval, that wasn't happening at all. It was just a nice, even stroke the whole way around. Felt really smooth, really enjoyed it, and I, I'm pretty convinced, you know, I wasn't really sure if it would make a big difference. I hadn't ridden an oval chain ring in my life prior to this, but um, I definitely plan on using it moving forward. So yeah, I'm a fan. Hey guys, Chance here. Um, like I said before, I've been on uh, this chain ring for about two weeks now, the oval chain ring. Um, immediately after hopping back onto a standard chain ring, I could already tell a difference between the two. Um, in technical sections where there's kind of like uh, immediate rocks where you'd kind of have to put down some power to get over to them, I felt that it was very responsive uh, compared to it was just a standard uh, chain ring. What's up guys, this is Michael from Worldwide Cyclery. Um, as you heard earlier, this is my first time on an oval chain ring. Um, as far as some background, I'm your average rider. I ride maybe once a week, try and keep the dad bod in shape. Shake that dad bod, dad, shake that dad bod. Doesn't always go as planned, but um, not too picky about parts. I kind of just get on the bike and ride. Um, so that being said, as you know, I've been on a round chain ring. Uh, went up the climb is a bit more technical um, with some rocky sections to pedal over so on the round chain ring I felt pretty comfortable there was some spots where um, it felt a little dead trying to get up some technical sections um, swapped into the oval uh, to be honest I didn't tell too much of a difference on my first climb up but on the second climb there was a couple spots where I noticed on the round there was a little bit of dead zone but with that oval chain ring I felt like I was able to pedal over some of those technical sections a little bit better. Um, this was just a very simple test so I would like to ride it a bit more to get um, a full review on it. Um, but initial impressions uh, pretty good can't tell too much. Um, I'm sure a more advanced or you know riders who are doing technical climbs a bit more could tell a big difference. Um, but for me, average everyday rider, not so much right now, but I think with maybe a couple rides under my belt on some trails that I'm used to, uh, I could definitely give a more definitive answer. Well, there you have it. Opinions all over the place from all sorts of different people on oval chain rings. And yeah, it is one of those things that 
you know, you can tell some bikes it'll make a bigger difference on than other bikes. Some riders, it'll make a bigger difference, um, whether they're very sensitive to how their bike is pedaling, if they're climbing technical stuff, if they're riding on flat fire roads every day, a lot of different scenarios for everyone out there. Um, different opinions from different people, from different bikes. To me personally, I think an oval chain ring is an awesome upgrade because it's a pretty cheap one and it's also really easy to go back. You don't need to take any links out of your chain or anything. You just swap the chain ring on and off, just buy the right size. Um, test it out, see for yourself if you like that thing. Um, it's definitely a fun thing to experiment with. I ride one now and probably will always ride one as long as there's an available size. Um, I enjoy it because I do a lot of technical climbing and bikes these days that I ride are really low to the ground. <laughs> Um, and I feel like they get lower and lower every year and I keep hitting my pedals more and more. Um, and I think oval chain rings do help me out with that and the technical rocky stuff that I climb. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. Drop a comment below if you have an oval chain ring or if you're considering trying one. If you do, check out Absolute Black. They helped us out with this video and those guys are awesome and they make the best oval rings in the business. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.